last year in Kathmandu. Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Melina, aka Last Year in Kathmandu, and I am back for my first video in a hot minute, boy. Like. It's been a minute. Um, I'm just like the groundhog for Groundhog's Day. If you get that last year in Kathmandu notification saying that I've posted, you should know that it's back to school time and that is my favorite time of year. And trust me, it's not because of school. <coughs> um, honestly, I, I, education, education, I, not for me. Um, most people chose books, I chose looks. And that's why it excites me when back to school comes around. I've been out of the pen for, geez, um, one and a half years, two years, the pen being high school. Um, ever since high school, man, I'm soaring, flying, and there's not a star in heaven that I can't reach. Do you get that? I love college so much. I am 100% not the type of person to be like, well, I wish I could just go back and change one thing. Or if you could have seen me in high school, I, I threw the football over that mountain over there. Back in 82, I used to be able to throw a pigskin a quarter mile. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Watch this. No, I'm not Uncle Rico. Really, there's not much that I enjoyed out of my high school experience except the first week of school. Because in elementary school, middle school, high school, um, the first week of school is like New York Fashion Week. It is where you bring your fits. All the heat, you, you come ready to impress and just like seeing what everyone chose to wear on the first day you know what I mean like it's just I love that you know the night before you start school you like sleep there super stiff with your outfit sitting next to you I miss that that's about it I go to community college so it's a little different I can't speak for like every college experience because obviously I don't go to like a university or anything like that um, I go to school with a lot of like older single dads and I mean that's cool they're great I love them but it's not that same excitement they're wearing like their New Balance 350s from four years ago that their ex-wife bought them before they got divorced and she cheated on him with his brother you know what I mean so there's not much hype there when classes start um, but for me that's never gonna change that's just I, I love that that's who I am I'm extra and this is my back to school clothing haul. I hope you guys like it. Let me. Como se dice, let y'all in on something. Um, I've put on my freshman 15. I carried the whole team on my back. You guys get that? I put on the freshman 15 and then some. But, that's okay. It is about to be 2020. We are accepting bodies out in these streets. Body positivity just everywhere. Just throwing it in people's faces. Positive, positive, positive. So, in saying that, you might see just a little sneak peek of camel in this video. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's 2019. Everything that's in this video was bought from Pretty Little Thing except for one dress was bought from Fashion Nova and I'll show that to you later. Um, but this first shirt, this bandeau top, has like flapper girl strings on it. And when I ordered it, I was like, 2020's coming up, we're about to be in the roaring 20s, I need to be a little, little flapper thing. So that's why I bought it. It honestly is a little bit darker in color than I expected it to be, but I'm not complaining. This next shirt is just like a green and white polka dot crop top sort of thing, and I bought matching shorts to go with it. And when I paid for it, I thought it was gonna be like a really statement outfit, but it was gonna be cute, not too much. And when it came in, not only were they both like a little too big, but the shorts, they really, they just look like um, 
in that episode of Spongebob when Patrick and Spongebob are doing a panty raid and they get into Mrs. Krabs' bloomers. So that's kind of what these look like. Definitely gonna return these bad boys. The shirt, I think I'm gonna hold on for safekeeping. This next shirt is a spaghetti strap orange bodysuit. And I'm just a big old pig, I guess, because I've already stained it and I wore it for like five minutes. But besides that, I like it a lot. I don't really have much orange in my closet, so I mess with it. I do a lot of fake online shopping, so like putting my cart and filling it with like a thousand dollars and then not buying any of it. And this has been in my cart a couple times. Um, I finally bought it because I've been watching a lot of Sex in the City. And you know, before I watched that show, Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner were my biggest like fashion inspirations, but Turns out they're not anymore and Carrie Bradshaw's a little queen. So if you've never seen Sex in the City, go get your Amazon Prime. Stop this video actually because it's actually more important than this video and go watch it because it'll change your life inside and out. Then I got the white skirt to match. It fits really good. It's super soft material. Like it, I really, I like the skirt. I don't like wearing skirts because sometimes the material will be too tight on my legs. So my legs are just like that and I can barely even drive in it. So this is actually really nice. Now this dress is from Fashion Nova and it is a newspaper all over it. Kylie Jenner actually posted the other day um, a picture of her. This is actually a copy of a Christian Dior dress um, and she had like a shirt similar to it. So <laughs> I was on trend before you, honey. This dress goes below the knee. I'm trying to show you guys in the video but it was just a little bit hard in the clip. And it is, again, that really just nice, like, cool material. Cool being, like, cold temperature-wise material. Very cute. I wore it one time, and I did get a lot of compliments on it. Um, it says extra, extra, and honey, I'm nothing less than extra, extra. Next, I got this Xenon astronaut puff jacket. It reminded me of a North Face jacket that I saw Kim Kardashian wearing like three months ago or something. So I ordered it and then also when you have the flash on your camera, it looks like a million different colors, like the whole rainbow. So I thought that was really cool. Um, I think it's really cute. It's a little loud, as you can hear, and it's a little bulky, but I think, I think I'm gonna try to pull this one off. To go with that jacket, I got these pretty basic metallic leggings. So Pretty Little Thing and Fashion Nova, they are fast fashion brands. So they see what's on trend from celebrities like Instagram posts and they take exactly what they're wearing it and copy it without being copyrighted for it. And I recognize that and this shirt is 100% a bite off of the Astro World. Um, merch and I, I thought it was really cute okay I, I recognize that it's a bite off yes I bought it yes I like it and I'm wrong for that but I'm just keeping it real I don't listen to Travis Scott like no I, I don't listen to him at all so I'm not gonna be a bandwagon and buy his merch when I've never even heard a song off of the album but I did like his design so I guess this is me saying I like his design. Back just says like international, then it says worldwide established, pretty little thing, and then the front just says international too. I never thought I would see the day where I give in to biker shorts, the little Tour de France shorts, but I did and I bought two pairs. This is the nude pair. They look like Spanx, like I just walked out in my Spanx. I'm a little bit uncomfortable with them like in the clip it's about to be a full moon but I have these on so I mean I think I just need to grow some balls and be able to wear them next are the other biker shorts that I bought these ones are black and they're a little bit different on the back if you can see in the clip there's like um it's like ruffled a little bit on on the crack to say the least and I think it's supposed to make your butt look like more pushed up you know what I mean so I'm always for some some high cheeks. So with those biker shorts, I got this, what's looked to be like a homemade cut up gray t-shirt. Um, I really liked it because not only did it make my boobs look good, 
but it makes me look like I had time to take my dogs for a walk and I went to the gym after work um, and I still am able to keep a beat face while I'm doing it. So that's what I really liked. Like, ooh, let me answer your call, no problem. Oh, let me lift these weights real quick. Next, I got this one shoulder, off the shoulder, um, fuchsia crop top, and I love it. I think it's like such a statement. It's bright, um, it's beautiful. My only problem is I, you can't wear like a strapless bra with it because like you will see your bra on the bottom or you're gonna see it in the top unless you want it to tuck, but that's a little bit ghetto. So that was a struggle I had with it, but I'll figure out a way. I thought it was very cute. Unbeknownst to me, I'm a stark idiot and I missed some of my pieces in the video and I didn't record and it's a mess. This dress um, is beautiful. I am in love with it. I think I might cut it though to make it a shirt which is why I'm only showing from the waist up you know gotta keep them wanting more now with this white button up I was going for I just spent the night for the first time at my sugar daddy's house he's gonna croak soon and I'm coming down in his bachelor pad in his shirt this outfit is my favorite out of the entire haul not only is it a super muted color but they kind of correlate and it's sweatpants. You cannot go wrong with sweatpants. They're there for you in the worst of times. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Comment down below if you have any questions, comments, just want to chat with me. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram or add me on Snapchat, I'm going to put that somewhere around here. Comment the day you went or you go back to school this year. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon. I hope you guys have a blessed week.